you are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it, and smells just like a Poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Playtime! Time! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can... Hi, my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, we'll turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Rich, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance last did a sweep of this place? <laughs> no. Exactly! Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all, on brand, but... Uh... It's just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it, because we can't find stupid hockey boxes! Rich. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's... it's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything less would be more habitable. Is... is that even a word? Habitable? So, Stella. What made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And 
being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back to being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult, but your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Poof! <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things though, like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than the person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something. Right? Alright, I think we're getting a little off track. Final log in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of... Playtime Co's new patented elastic plastic, you can stretch, pull, and twist Mommy Longlegs in the craziest ways. She loves watching you play. When you're having fun, she's having fun. The new Mommy Longlegs from Playtime Co. What's the time? Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Divorced, but a family man at heart. His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began in the fateful year of 19...
Welcome to Musical Memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. The test will become more difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. That's all. Good luck. Well, it finally happened. After years of being ignored, the company actually heard all my complaints. Yep, they listened to them very carefully. I guess my words must have really inspired them to take action. Because the next day I got demoted down here. To the freaking island of misfit toys! <laughs> Why do I talk to myself? Welcome to Wacka Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. realized that I left me bloody wallet in the cafeteria. So I'm running through the lobby, and that's when I see it. A mop handle lodged under the innovation wing gate. So what you do, Marcus? Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody yoke and be on me merry way. And? Well, I'm reaching for the thing, and the mop handle jolts on its own. Had me scared stiff. I, I thought I was the only one there. So... I, I took a peek beneath the gate, and some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. Thing? You're sure it wasn't a person? Ain't no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. Marcus, you're losing me. Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Look, it wasn't people, all right? I haven't a bloody notion what it was, but it wasn't human. Hmm. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Just you, sir. Obviously. Okay. I'll have security skim the cameras and take a look. What? There's a massive bloody monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're out of line, Marcus. We make toys, not monsters. Now come on, get out of my sight. Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will you? Actually, never mind. Get out of my sight. Welcome to Statues. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. That's all. Good luck.
Jimmy, your work as Playtime Co.'s chief marketing officer has skyrocketed the company's profits. How do you do it? You know, it's not what you'd expect. It's the little things most people don't even think about. Like, take names, for example. I'm surprised people haven't realized this. You take the E sound, slap it on the end of a name, boom, you're making bank. Huggy, mommy. Even Elliot knew this way back with Poppy. I guess I kind oh, blue. of... Blue is huge. I'm telling you. What's your favorite color? Blue? I bet it's blue, right? It's blue? It's green. <laughs> okay, well, you're a special case. Most people would say blue. But seriously, marketing is not as easy as you think. I make it look easy. If there's anything Playtime Co. should be known for, it's not toys. It's marketing. The following is a pre-recorded announcement to address the many complaints regarding an alleged very, very big spider crawling around in the facility. The Playtime Corporation wants me to remind you all that spiders that big do not exist, and that if they did, quote, we would already be dead anyways, end quote. Regardless, you can all rest assured the company is sending some specialists down here to have a look around and relieve the constant whining. Complaining seems to be everyone's primary contribution to this company. It's just a spider. You are all safe. Please, please, carry on with your jobs. Log code 08502. In relation, experiment 1006. The prototype. A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door, despite the other specialist still being inside. One casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log. What's the time? Playtime! S-M-I-R-E, every day! When you are down and out, no need to frown and pout. The smiley pointer's here to serve. S-M-I-R-E, every day! Okay, guys, I promise. All winds blow away. Eventually. Catnap! Please, help us go to sleep, Catnap! We need it, Catnap! Please help us! Sleep! 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 Everyone knows Huggy Wuggy and Poppy Playtime, but are your children safe from Playtime Co.'s latest toy? What you've seen here is Playtime Co.'s own Smiling Critters, a limited series cartoon meant to celebrate the release of the toys sharing its name. Yet both now face the fire sparked by the inclusion of one key member. This is Catnap. And like the others of his line, you just pull his little tail and 
seems innocent enough. However, parents across the country report their children experiencing strange and often violent nightmares, and beside them, their little, grinning catnap doll. Now, with controversy growing, Playtime Co. has announced the recall of all catnap toys from the Smiling Critters line. His image cleared from all promotional material. But damage already done, will disappearing be that easy? The exact cause of these incidents still unknown, only one thing appears glaringly certain. Your children are not safe with catnap. Hello, my name is Elliot Ludwig. When you look around at the world today, what one thing do you think it needs more of? I asked around once, money, I never have enough. Understanding, I can never get any. Faith, the common man has lost it. Each answer was different, and I could perhaps see some little truth in each, but I think each was also missing something. Something simple. You see, not one of them could muster a smile. A smile is hope. A smile is love. A smile is understanding. And there is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile to be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams, for it is only through hopes and dreams that we may create a better world. One where our children need not be afraid, one where they are protected. After all, this company and its toys are nothing without them. These children deserve to smile, they deserve to love, and they deserve a safe home. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co., I announce Playcare, our very own on-site orphanage. But it's not only that. It's a school, a playhouse, a place to belong. Our very own ecosystem beneath the surface dedicated in every inch and detail to ensuring a child's smile. It's teachers and counselors, mothers and fathers, until such a time they have all of that in you. May play care bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to all who enter these doors. For what gives life its meaning if not a smile? All right, Miss Harper, please explain the situation. Spare no detail. Well, like any night, all the children were getting asleep. It was peaceful, quiet. Catnap had the red smoke in the room. Then suddenly, there was this scream. Nightmares happen, I know, but this, I mean, dilated pupils and quivering lips. The way her eyes darted around the room, and I swear, her hand and mine, it felt like her blood was boiling beneath her skin. She saw something, too. Something horrible. She... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Miss Harper, we'll provide the very best care we can offer. You have my word. But this is important. Did Marie happen to describe what she saw? Yes. A monster, she said, said that it was colorless. I could feel the poor little heart pounding. For her, it was right there. And her movements, they were so wild. Arms flailing, legs kicking. Hmm. I, I wanted to talk to her, see how she's doing. I, I just, I really need to hear her voice right now. That would not be advised, Miss Harper. There are many concerns we must address at this time. But vital, show normal. And we'll continue to monitor. She'll be okay. No! Well, pardon me if I'm not comforted by that. <laughs> Just bring my little girl back to me.
Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first day here in Playtime. We're certain that in the days to come, you'll find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Feel free to wander the halls, sit in the mess for lunch, or watch our children play and learn to their little hearts' content. Join the innovationists where the bounds of science are continuously pushed, or join the counselors of Playcare whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Just you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are, or what you've done, worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And, should you come back years later, your conscience finally getting the better of you, may you descend into the dark and the dust, Finding all that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors, each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow, their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic, watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. Or perhaps... They won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left. A world that's theirs now. Welcome home. Ah, and here they all are. Well, of course. They'd never miss this. Look at this book. We're going away. Oh, tell us. Shh, 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 shh. This week... Dr. White here has selected our very own Samuel Lee. Now, before he goes, let's all give Sam one last goodbye, shall we? With me. One, two, three. Goodbye, Sam. Subject is stable. Designated one, three, two, two. Clear neural abnormalities were detected in his recent checkup. Though highly irregular, we've pulled him from the home sweet home just before lights out to perform... What are you doing with my friend? I... What are you doing out of bed? How did you get in here? Is Kevin sick? Why did you take him away? I... I... Yes. Kevin is very sick. Very, very sick. But we want to make him better. But he can only get better if we take him to where we can provide proper care and give him proper rest. Well, do you really think he will be okay? I should think so. We're good at what we do, son. We paid attention in school, learned, and got our proper rest when we needed it. Just like you need it now, I should think. Come now. Let's get you on back to bed. Oh, okay. It's been a pleasure meeting you, Joseph. And I promise you, your friend will be all right. When you see him again, he'll have never been better. Where are the kids? Please, where are the children? Are they in the same place as the employees? No. Are the children safe? Yes. Oh, can I see them? No. And that was it. That's all he'd tell me. <laughs> Probably because he knew I'd kill them all. Reaching? Nothing, nothing. Let's just get this shipment dropped and go. Hello, my name is Elliot Ludwig. Would you look around? I take it you're not a fan of this place, are you? Nope. Never liked the feel of it. I mean, don't you 
Don't you think these kids deserve some real sunlight instead of floodlights and painted skies? Hell, we're not even allowed to talk to these kids. Isn't that... <clears throat> <sighs> Sorry, Stu. Sorry? <laughs> that doesn't sound like the rich I know. Well, I'm trying to stop being so pissed off all the time. My wife says I'm a lovely man, but I gotta control my temper. So, I'm doing it for her. <laughs> You're just different, Rich. Honest to a fault. But uh, I always liked that about you. Yeah? <laughs> well, you're one of the few. Uh, you know, Richie, with my retirement coming up, uh, they've been pushing hard for me to choose my replacement. I'm thinking about giving the role to you. But, uh, really? Really? Nothing official yet. But I think there's a decent guy beneath all that graph. An honest, hard-working man. You prove me right? I say your chances are pretty good. Wow. I, uh... Jeez, I don't know what to say. I, I'm just glad to see not everyone in this place has it out for me. Not everybody, Rich. Not everybody. Okay. This is Catnap. Uh, experiment number 1188. What's his real name again? Ah, okay. <clears throat> hey, uh, Theo. How you doing, bud? Normally I'd have Dr. Sawyer do this, but he's, uh, out, let's say. So you got me until they find his replacement. First off, congrats. This is officially your fourth year in your new body. And you've made some real progress, pal. I was told that when you and the other smiling critters, you know, dog day, picky piggy, yada yada yada, were added into play care, that you weren't really getting along too well with the kids like everybody else was. But look at you now. The kids love you. And that red smoke, I mean, that's fantastic, isn't it? Is his, uh... Voice thing he's still broken? Theo, nobody's gonna save you. This prison is where you belong. We'll let you out here and there to go see the kids in play care, but your home is here. And as for the prototype, his home is in the labs. This is your life now. Get used to it. Come on in. Please, have a seat. How was your ride down? It was, uh, nothing like we were expecting. Uh, Mr. Ludwig's speech was, well, it just confirms for us that you're the orphanage we want to go through. It's a truly magical place. I felt right at home from the second I entered. You open that door the first time and you just know you're never going to leave. Kind of like finding a home as a child and always thinking of it when you want to feel comforted. <clears throat> I understand you want to give Jeremy that home? Yes, and we would like to adopt. Ah, amazing! You'll be perfect for... Oh. What? Well, it appears there's been some complications. Complications? What kind of complications? I... I don't know. Um, the form says... testing. <laughs> what does that mean? Tell us, what does that mean? Miss Graber, we deserve a better explanation than that. Don't you think? You're in charge of all this! How could you not know? And why are we only finding out about this now? I... I don't. I'm sorry. is for all Playtime Company employees. 
At 11.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, an unknown hostile force was declared present within the Playtime Company facility. Personnel are to begin enacting emergency evacuation protocols immediately. Leave all personal belongings. Do not engage with any hostile individuals. If no exit path is available, seek shelter in a hidden location. Use blankets or pillows to cover your body, and remain silent. Do not look through any windows. Do not open doors for any individuals. Do not make eye contact. Log code 24459. In relation, experiment 1006. The prototype. Stubborn as he is, and always silent with each passing session, I'm still uncovering fresh data nonetheless. Today's discovery... <laughs> End of log. Hmm. Ready to talk now, are you? I possess... A question. Go ahead. Do you feel anything? <sighs> this question referred to what exactly? You stick us. Beat us. Tear our flesh. Do you feel it? There's a secret inside you, 1006. Valuable beyond all measure. I cut and prod and burn at it. And I get closer with each session. So speak. Or don't. Fight. Or give in. Regardless, I learn something new about you every day. <laughs> it excites me. Thank you. You thank me? Absolutely. I learned something new about you every day.